Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing us episode number 23 of Hut Roulette. And last episode, uh, I told you guys if you can get hit it 300 likes, I'll post this video pretty quick. So this one should be back to back for the most part. But right now, we are on a six game win streak. We're trying to bring it up to a seventh and eighth one this episode. And as you guys can see, we have won the first game of Division One, which means we're only nine games away uh, from winning that Division One title, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm not sure if it's nine games, but it's somewhere close to that. But we're going to show you the team before we start. But we got on our first line Alexander Ovechkin, Patrice Bergeron, and then Patrick Kane on our first line right wing. Then on our second line, we got Burray, McDavid, and then Gabriel Landeskog. Then we're giving Taylor Hall his debut and he's playing alongside with Couture and Rick Nash on the third line. And on the fourth line, we got Tyler Johnson, Ryan Kessler, and James Neal. That's how our offense is looking like. Going straight to the defense, we got Cronwall, Luongo, and Eric Carlson. Uh, we also got Hamilton, Jason Garrison, Milestone Card, as well as Jack Johnson and Mike Green. So that's how our team is looking like going into the first game of this episode. Let's see if we can win. Continue that win streak. Alright guys, so we're facing a Philadelphia fan. He's got Pavelski, Voracek, and Pacioretty on his first line. But uh, we're giving Taylor Hall his debut. So let's see how this first game goes. Let's see what we can do. Oh no, and he gets the first goal right off the bat. And that was just a bad defensive play by me. But um, and the cross creaser works for him. Two minutes in, we're down one to nothing. So we got to get that goal back. No, I keep giving up that goal. God damn. I keep thinking like it'll go past it. I'm just so used to NHL 15 and 14 where it just always goes past. But uh, he tucks it back in 2 to nothing. That, that was a bad play by me. I got to get the, those goals back. There it is. Rick Nash with an absolute blast past the goalie's glove hand. I'm pretty sure I beat Vasilevsky there, but... We make it 2-1 to one right away, and uh, we're not down the hole just yet, so let's see if we can keep it up. We're, go we're just about to head into the second period. Alright, so we're heading into the second period here. We're still playing pretty good, 6-6 six to six in shots. We're getting some good time on attack there, but uh, just a bad play with me uh, giving him the puck and just shooting in the net. So, we gotta get that goal back. Let's see if we can take the lead from him. There it is! What was that? I don't know what that was, but James Neal with an absolute snipe. That 90 shot coming in handy for that one for sure, but 2-2. Two two, we're tied back up. Oh man, that is a big goal to get. Alright guys, we're going into overtime. Pretty tight still. I mean, he seems like he's getting a lot more chances than me. 22 and 16 shots. 7 minutes and 33 seconds time on attack to 8 minutes and 39 seconds. If you can hear by my voice, it's kind of uneasy because it is a really tough game so far. He's winning a lot of face-offs as well, so I mean, I gotta be careful just a little bit. We're heading into overtime. Let's see what we can do. What? How did I not go in? Oh my goodness. I don't know how I'm gonna stand out and shoot out if like or the Oh god, oh god. Just be careful just a little bit. Damn, I cannot I don't know how it's gonna go in the shootout. Come on, grab the puck. No, two seconds left, one second left. Yep, so it's going to uh shootout now. Oh man, I don't know how this game's gonna go, but Oh man, I have not practiced shooto at all. Alright, so let's get this going. First guy is Burry. I don't even have my shootout line set. We're gonna do the fake Datsuk. No! Alright, well, the Datsuk didn't work. Oh, that was just bad. Alright, how do you sit down? Okay, you go like that. Poke check! Yes! Okay. The only thing I really know how to do is the flying poke check. Maybe lying down on the floor too. Okay. 
Tyler Johnson. Let's see what we can do. Oh my goodness! How did Tyler Johnson not have to handle on that puck? Oh no, I messed up on that. No, no. I'm gonna get owned here. This is gonna be my first loss, I feel like. Unless I can score right here. Oh, I thought I had a good positioning there, but it's not good enough. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, man. I, I am just frustrated that I can win that game. I mean, we were so close. So many good scoring chances, but it was a good game to that, guys. So we have to restart that by now minimum, and we also have to lose a player. So we're going to have to do that right now, and I'll meet you guys at the team. Okay, so the part I don't want to do, but since we lost in overtime, we have to remove a player. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this list. I am not looking forward to this at all. All right, I'm just going to close my eyes, randomize, and whatever's at the top is what we're going to have to remove, and it's going to be the second line right wing. I'm pretty sure that is Pavel Bury. Oh my goodness. All right, well, we'll go back into the team, and then uh, we'll see who the second line right winger is. I'll meet you guys there at the team. Yeah, that sucks pretty bad. I mean, that's going to be a huge hole in our team, but whatever. Our team is still really solid. Let's remove uh, Pavel Berry from our team, and then we'll go ahead and uh, add in another player to fill in that position. Okay, so we did find a replacement for Pavel Berry. As you guys can see, we put in Taylor Hall that was on the left wing third line, is now playing on the second line right wing spot, and I did bring back uh, Blake Wheeler from the dead, and he's playing alongside with Lone Couture and Rick Nash. So, I mean, our team is still looking very solid, so let's get let's head right into the second game here. Let's see if we can get that next win. Alright guys, so the final game of the episode, he's got Bacchus, he's got, uh, I don't know who was on his left wing, I couldn't read. These jerseys are just so hard to read, I've already encountered like two guys with the same jersey here. So, uh, let's get this game going. I'm a little bit, uh... I don't know. A little bit is taken out of me because we did lose Pavel Berry. But anyways, we're going to get this game started. Let's see what we can do. No. Bad defensive play by me. I was trying to switch my players, so I just couldn't. I got out of position. So right like that, just like that, we are down one to nothing on a, I guess, power play goal, penalty kill goal. That was bad. Oh my goodness, and another one. Oh my goodness. All right, we got to step up our game here. Got to get up a little bit. All right, full concentration mode. Let's go. There it is. Get the goal right back two minutes in. Like I said, I I'm playing hard now. No more, like... I like all this pack squads and Division 2 gameplay has made my game a lot worse. So I'm actually putting in all my effort now. Let's get this going. Yes! And we get the goal right back. 8.3 seconds left. And we tie it up with Taylor Hall. That's what I'm talking about. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I mean, I've been playing a little bit too easy now. And I just... I'm going to put all my concentration into winning Division 1 title. Like, I'm so sick of this, alright? Come on, let's keep going here. Alright, so let's take a look at the first intermission stats there. 9 to 6 in shots, 3 minutes and 10 seconds time on attack, 2 minutes, 59 seconds. I'm fired up. I I'm sick of D Division 1 gameplay already. I want to make sure that I uh, play well here, win this title at least. Yes! There it is! And we get back the lead. Nice little passing play. Back to Taylor Hall, man. Putting him on the second line was the right choice there. And we make it 3-2. to two. Nice little uh, goal right there. Let's keep it going. Alright, look at that, guys. Third period. Zero seconds left. And that is going to be a win. Hard-fought game. But that means we are pretty much looking good still in Division 1. I mean, we got two wins, one overtime loss. That means we're five points into Division 1, and uh, we get a race that by now minimum by 1K, which is also pretty nice as well. Let's take a look at the game stats here. 20 to 15 shots. It was just honestly a very close game. Not much to even, like, commentate over, because I was actually trying so hard, and the guy actually got a lot of time on attack on me. So, 
uh, kudos to him as well as the three stars Taylor Hall getting the first star uh, that is pretty nice to see as well as Marlo getting the second and boy Chuck getting the third so anyways let's go ahead and buy that player I'll meet you guys there all right guys so we're back on the auction search page buy now minimum set to 1000 collection type has been put onto players so let's search it up let's see what we get so it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty frederick anderson is going to be the next pickup on our team uh, i will go ahead and buy him out i don't know why he's fatigued but i'll buy him out see where he fits in all right guys so i'm pretty much going to wrap up the episode here i did throw on frederick anderson into the goaltender spot and he will get his debut in the next episode of hub roulette um I know I messed up on the change team. I just pulled him out from my collection, so I will uh, re-watch the film, uh, and then I will go ahead and put the right change team on him uh, next episode. But that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Hover Light. Unfortunately, we didn't get to continue this streak, uh, but, I mean, starting Division 1, we can't expect to win every game. It's definitely a lot tougher, but I'm going to bring my A game next episode, and we're going to see if we can keep continuing that streak in the next episode of Hover Light. So that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Alright, so ASP carry comes out again. We definitely can see that one. Back in Fortune, Bobby Ryan Bishop. Okay, not the most interesting trade there. Uh, Tarasenko, Zoom Girl, and Skin Bound Coins.